Hey, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I told you I'm gonna be consistent and yes, I've got another video for you. Okay, so this um, topic was a topic that um, a few, actually quite a lot of you, um, on my Instagram, if you're not following me, you better follow me at chairlady underscore D. Um, so yeah, a lot of people were actually um, telling me to do this topic about friendships and all about just how um, to handle when you feel like you're the only one trying in the relationship um, and you're, yeah, you're, they're just like some kind of miscommunication going on. So, come and hear my own perspective. I have been in this situation. i share with you, you know, how I dealt with it and what I've learned from it. And yeah, so if you're interested, then you better keep watching, you know. So, friendships. Friendships, friendship, friendship. Friendships are a beautiful thing. Um, I think I've definitely learned that um, my friendships are all so different um, and they all obviously serve a different purpose and just like the content and the way that the way that we even communicate with each other or things that we share they're just all so different I think um, as people we always like to kind of have one way of doing friendship and so um, when we don't see that in another way there's just we're just like feel really heartbroken or confused and sometimes it's just understanding that this is just a friend in this kind of capacity and this is a friend in that kind of capacity and it's okay as long as you know your values and your morals stay the same and just you know who you are as a person um, is still emulated in that way so enough of the waffling let's get to it um, so this particular person said to me you know how how do I kind of manage a friendship when I feel like I'm the only um, one trying and coping and I've been through this twice um, I think the first time that I felt like this this is how I responded <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I respond. I didn't respond like that, but I'm about to tell you. Um, so basically, I just was just like, well, I'm messaging this person. They're not responding back on WhatsApp. They're not, you know, um, I've messaged them again. Like they res they responded to me like three weeks later, and it's just like, make the conversations moved on. Like so much has happened since you've messaged me back. So there's no point even kind of engaging and whatnot. And I just felt like very like this person was just like. Um, yeah just not really engaging with me and i think for me with this person i went from like being we, we would talk every single day like all the time like we were really 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 close we would talk and pray all the time and then all of a sudden it was like oh we're not talking much but i see you talking to other people or engaging with people and it was like okay what's going on kind of thing um and this is how i handled it and this is how not to handle it okay i'm i'm, t I'm teaching you a lesson over here so for me i was like okay you're engaging with other people you're talking with other people like so there's no excuse kind of thing you're clearly not busy like you just got time for who you want to have time with you're not really trying with me okay i've messaged you okay let's wait and see hmm nothing okay let me message you again let me give you the benefit of the doubt mm, okay cool right okay instagram delete right so that would that's how i would handle it like i'm unfollowing you because you need to buy bygones be bygones that kind of thing like i'm actually i'm tired of this person you know and that's how i handled it um and or another way that i handled it as well with like even without unfollowing is like when i now see the person i'm just like oh hi like kind of looking at them like what you, kind of thing like what's going on the person's acting all normal and i'm just like Mm, okay um and so then when i actually when this person actually spoke to me and was like okay what's actually going on um we actually realized that there was just miscommunication you know the way that she saw it was like that oh maybe i i i come to her at certain times that best suits me but the way that i was seeing it was no actually i wanted whenever i try and reach out to say hey are you okay you wouldn't respond so maybe it's only the times where i like I need you for something then you'd respond and we were able to see that whoa okay look at the way I saw it look at the way I, you saw it but I had already you know unfollowed or you know thought oh, I'm not messaging back so it's like how is that actually benefiting the relationship but when we now communicated things got better right so that's one way of not how to handle it and a lesson learned that actually communication is everything when it comes to a friendship now 
once you've communicated, that's where you're able to really understand things from their point of view. Because sometimes, as a friendship, you're always thinking one-sided. You're always thinking about you and how you feel and how the way this person acts is, makes you feel. But it's an understanding that, oh, okay, they might not see it like that. Okay, instead of me assuming, instead of me making assumptions, instead of me making conclusions, why don't I communicate? And I think that's the biggest error that I took in that um, in that situation. And I've done it quite a few times after that. So I clearly still didn't learn uh, my lesson because I've done it with other people where I just think, oh, you're acting like this? Okay, unfollow. Oh, you're acting like this? Okay, I'm cutting you. Bye. And it's just like, no, that's not really the best way to handle it. And I remember my husband being like, Babes, you really can't just be cutting people out like that. Like that person was really, really your good, really your really good friend. Why are you cutting them out? And I'm like, yeah, because they're doing it, and it's like, yeah, but speak, communicate, like have that conversation. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing: communicate and have that conversation. Now, some of you may have communicated and feel like it's still happening. Now, I have also been in that situation where I've communicated once and it is still happening. So with that, um, your natural go-to would probably think, you know, you probably feel very her because this person you know you you were once so close with you're always speaking you're always you know and you're just confused and i think when it comes to friendships you need to have mercy you know you need to have mercy you need to have grace um on friendships because you need to understand that people are going through different seasons and right now you just might still be available but they probably are still learning how to even handle or manage their own friendships don't think that you know it's just you there's probably other people that obviously feel the same way they might have gone through a new phase in their life they might be in a new uni they might have just got into a new workplace and they're still figuring everything out and sometimes it's very easy to think the worst sometimes it's very easy to assume that oh there you know there's something wrong or oh they're you know maybe they just want to be friends with someone else so maybe they don't really value me and sometimes it's we, we must have mercy and I think that's the second thing is having mercy and having grace on those friends that you feel offended by um, because you need to understand that they're probably just trying to navigate things in their life they're trying to navigate um, situations and whatnot and sometimes you can be quite selfish and, and want them to reach out to you and I want them to reach out to me and they're not reaching out to me and it's like okay cut all of that okay reach out to them pray for them, communicate to them. And that's my question to you. Are you reaching out to the person that you're expecting to, to be reaching out to you? Um, have you communicated to them how you feel? Um, and also, um, not only just communicating to them how you feel, understanding um, how they feel. Because what you will find is that you might feel some way, and just like for me, I learned that this person actually was feeling that another thing, that, oh, actually, she was actually feeling that, oh, she did this and she did this and she did and i was thinking yeah but she did this she did, and it's like because we didn't communicate we were just letting our minds go all hell skelter and going all wild and thinking oh my gosh she doesn't like me and she's and it's like no that's not the case but because you're not communicating because you're not making it clear because you're not understanding each other or listening to each other you're not understanding i think a lot of us we want to get our we want to make it known our views but also but not really hear what they have to say so communication um listening hearing having mercy and grace on that person when you've communicated once and you feel like it's still happening go back again honestly don't give up on that friendship go back again and just be like um and just try and understand you know that they might just be busy you know you don't have to talk every single day to know that your relationship is amazing there are some friends of mine where literally my bestest friend, right, minus Josh. So my Josh, my, Josh is my bestest, bestest friend. But my best friend, yeah, um, who I consider is a best friend to me, I, we don't talk a lot. Like, we talk, like, sometimes we will go three months without talking. Like, legit, we're just busy. But when we talk, it's like, it will go on for hours. I'll go to her house, I'll sleep at her house. It, it, we know what it is. And I think it's understanding that. But I think when there's no kind of clear communication on what it is, um, that's where the confusion is. Another thing, another thing to add, um, and I'll share my own experience. Um, my bestest, bestest, my best friend, minus Josh, um, under Josh, <laughs> is um, we like went to uni together. So we've actually really developed a very steady friendship, um, a friendship that has gone over for time, a friendship that has developed, a friendship that's been through different seasons throughout the whole uni. Now, another friend, we got we met each other and we were like besties we didn't actually have 
any kind of steady growth. It was just straight like, we hit it off literally like a house of fire. We got on so well. We were like, oh my gosh, we love each other. We're sisters. We're like, yes. And sometimes when you when you meet someone and you literally come like that, you haven't necessarily, and you maybe you're playing together, you're loving each other. You need to also be mindful to set that kind of foundation because sometimes when you're going through busy times and then you're not talking, you're thinking, oh my gosh, what the hell? We used to talk so much and now we're barely talking. There must be something wrong. But then your other friend who you've known for many years, you know, you've had a silly relationship. When you don't talk to them for too much, you're not crying. And I think sometimes it's also looking at kind of how your friendships evolve and understanding that friendships do go through different seasons and also laying that foundation because I saw that with my friend, my best friend, my bestest friend, um, if we don't talk for two months, it's not, it's not that deep, like four months is not that deep, I'll call her, we know what it is, go to her, come over, mate, G, I haven't seen you in ages, we know what it is. But my other friend who we were like this once, the moment we're not talking about much, it's like, oh my gosh, there must be something wrong. Um, and understanding that, okay, there needs to be that kind of level of foundation and, and with those with those kind of friendships, you need to just learn that, okay, it's not this person's against me, um, but we need to have that foundation because we, we just hit it off as a house of fire and that we haven't actually, you know, moved with each other through the times, you know? And I think, um, yeah, that's a really, really big lesson. Um, and yeah, so lastly, another quick tip as well is if you do feel like you have communicated and they're still not listening, communicated and that person almost responds to you like they don't care, almost responds to you like it's your fault, almost responds to you like they're not really trying to invest in the relationship, then that's when you need to basically just know that maybe this relationship isn't worth investing in anymore and maybe um, this is just kind of basically let bygones be bygones. So I think even though I've shared all the information of kind of how to keep that friendship and situations, but sometimes you need to know when to let go. And I think after you've communicated and you've realized that actually this person isn't trying to listen to you, this person doesn't even care, or this person's making it be like, well, at the end of the day, that's your issue, then you need to ask yourself whether you really want that person in your life in that way. Uh, so. I hope that this video has helped. I hope that um, this video has just given you more enlightenment on your own situations that you may be going through in terms of concerning friendships. Um, I hope this video has just really encouraged you that yes, let's not be selfish. Let's not always think about ourselves, but also try and understand from that person. Let's all uh, make sure that we have that foundation where sometimes we are going through different seasons and, and communicating that, but also listening to that person and also have showing mercy and grace as well because um, they, you're not, you're probably not the only friend that feels that way. They might also try to be navigating all their other friends as well. And if you're cutting it off too early, you're not able to see um, and actually even help that person even in time with me because you're thinking about yourself. Okay, so big lesson that I've learned. I hope that uh, you know I've been able to convey through my own experiences, and I hope that um, yeah, you've learned a lot and stuff. So yeah, please do give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any more questions concerning friendships or you feel like maybe I didn't go into too much detail into something and you really want to try and understand or look at things in a different way or maybe you have a different scenario that you're thinking maybe the way that I've said might not actually help and you're like, oh, but what about this kind of way? Then please do comment below. Honestly, comment below. I would definitely respond. If not, and loads of people are saying the same thing, then I'm just going to do another video um, tackling like that kind of scenario. But yeah. Thanks so much guys for watching my video, please do subscribe, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can find out more videos that I have and yeah, I hope that you have a lovely day.